All right, I wanted to try on another mm. vest option with the. No. Hello, beautiful people. It's Mama Goob. So Alexandra is keeping up with the old schedule. God bless her. Today, it looks like she's going to do an Amazon haul, which I am totally here for. Um, hopefully, this will be some good stuff that I could try to recreate, but we'll see. And um, yeah, so she's really... Um, she really is going back to same old, same old Alex. Um, just from the picture, it looks like, I don't know, not much about baby, which is good. I mean, like, really? Fine. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, and most people take time off before they jump back into work, but that's fine. But anyways, um, I just uploaded my video about Obese to Beast's reaction to glitter and lasers. That was a day late. Sorry. I released it to my members this morning and to the rest of you should get it on Tuesday at noon. Um, speaking of, let me personally thank my members who are Stephanie Kerr, Christine Konecki, Robin Wright, Sarah Lewin, That One Chick, DDH, Kriska, Bree, Catherine Beebe, Leah Tokyo, Julie B, Miss Mary, Heavenly Heather, Kelly, Kiersey Gates, Claire Sparkles, Cat Hospital of KW, Debbie McCrindle, Mulligrump, Jeff and, uh, Jennifer Lewis, Jody Stanley, Evil Valkyrie, and Purple Talons. Um, so more member stuff to come. Remember, you can click the join button. You get, uh, just different videos that I didn't want to put out there for the main channel, um, and early releases in some cases. So I thank you guys. But anyways, let's talk about Alexandra, shall we? I love me a good Amazon haul. So let's press play and see what she's got for us. Why not? So, Fall Amazon Clothing Haul plus what we almost named the baby vlog. Yes, I'm interested to see this. Um, the only thing is, is I think she's a, this is a waste of money. I mean, I know she's trying to keep up her video and trying to have content, but for the regular woman, do not go and buy a bunch of clothes a week after you've had a baby. Or it's probably two weeks at this point, but um, it's a waste of money. Your body's changing. Hopefully, her body changes for the better, but we'll see. Hey, you guys. Welcome back to a new vlog. I am currently making my way downtown, walking fast, except no. I'm going to the grocery store. Anderson's with his dad, and we just need a... Yes, wild wolves couldn't make me go to the grocery store. At this point, see, I'd rather have sent Yar to go to the grocery store with a list. Fine. But then it's okay. Everybody's different, Mama Goob. Not everybody's you. I have to keep saying this. A few groceries. And then I also have an Amazon return. So I'm going to go do that real quick. Yeah, it's bizarre. All right, guys, forget it. I'm being judgy. Tough shit. <laughs> Yar could have easily done that. So where she's, listen, I'm all for men helping 50-50. Got it. I, I'm going to be sexist about this. There's just something about a mother and a baby that, especially when they're this young, it's concerning that she's going out so much without him. Like, literally, it's, it's concerning because she's, how is she bonding? I mean, yes, Yar needs to bond too, but there's just something about a mom and a baby that I don't understand, clearly. Um, Yar could have, Yar would be better suited to handle these um, little errands. Plus, come on guys, we love Yar, but he's not exactly, or he doesn't come off as a cuddly little teddy bear. So I'm a little concerned for Anderson, Mr. Anderson, because 
none of his parents are cuddly duddly, as one of my viewers said. That's not good. <laughs> Quick, Yara and I have been giving each other like little moments of like you go run an errand or I go run an errand. So I got this other pumping bra. Oh, don't fucking go there. Oh my God. But hold on. All right. Let me not be so negative. At least they aren't dragging baby everywhere. All right. I could see putting baby in the car while, and then one person run in. That's actually good for baby, but I'm glad she's not taking him out into the world yet. Um, I don't know. We're weird in my family. Um, well, not weird. A lot of people do this. Like we didn't take the baby out until he was baptized. So, but I don't know if she's going to do that. No, it's another personal decision, but I can't wait to hear what she says about this bra because I might get pissed off. So let's see. Uh, and it's very lumpy. Like it makes my boobs look very lumpy. Um, I will... It doesn't matter what your fucking boobs look like, you ass. Link my favorite nursing bra um, and hands-free. Don't, 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 don't. You are no fucking nurse. You're not nursing, so don't even. Pumping bra, I mean. Um, I absolutely love this one. It goes up to a 3X and a 3X plus, I believe, for like a bigger bust. Um, Which And I have. wear just the XXL non-plus because um, I didn't need the bigger bust size. Bullshit. She is in Delulouville. She's just, okay. She's full of shit. There is no, oh boy, I got heated on this one early. What are we at? Like a minute? We're not even at a minute. And mama's cursing off the chain because this pisses me off because this sets a very high bar for poor women. Some women are breastfeeding savants, right? Like I've seen it. Like some of my friends just were made for breastfeeding. Awesome. Some of them weren't. I gave it a couple months try. It's not worth the hit to your personal psyche. So you see people like her. Oh, it's so easy. Oh, but Yar could do all the night feedings. Then you think, holy shit, what am I doing wrong? So I'm going to get pretty heated here. If she's not honest, this is going to be a hard watch but they do have that option, which I really like. So if you want to grab that, it's on Amazon and it was really good price and I really like it. Um, I have the black one. I don't think they had the other one on Amazon. I really want to find like the tan version of it or beige or whatever, um, but I love it. It's been great. I have just a very small list of things that we need. Um, we have been eating um, a lot of yogurt parfaits, so I need to grab more yogurt. <laughs> and berries and granola. For I thought you were eating a lot of uh, overnight oats. <laughs> that. And then I also really wanna see if they have um, any like fall fall treats out. Like I want to get us a fall, a fall treat. So I would like to. Aren't your yogurt parfaits a treat? So, okay. Oh my God, guys, help. Help, help, help. It's one third. It's a minute 39 in. I think that they're out now since like we are fully on and in September at this point. Okay, fine. You want a fucking treat? Make it yourself. How about that? At least you know what's in it. At some point as well, you know, we have to go check out Trader Joe's and see what they have for fall treats. You have to. You have to go to Trader Joe's who peddles in organic junk food. You just have to do it. Got it. Um, because it's the most wonderful time of the year. Yes. Uh, so excited um, to see what they got. So let's go run to the grocery store. All right. So she's got music here. So, of course, I forgot to buy oranges yesterday. I haven't had an orange in a while. The candles are okay. So... That's the other thing. People have been saying um, you really shouldn't have all those artificial fragrance, fragrances with baby. I agree with that. Um, you know, you want a fragrance? How about you make some applesauce? That'd be awesome. Like in a crock pot? 
That makes your whole house smell. Apple, I would do it, but apples are so crazy expensive right now. Um, yeah, make your own food. I mean, you're so interested in, you know, standing and shopping all the time. Just make some of your own stuff. I wonder if they could visit like an apple orchard. That I would love to do. There is no such thing here. I am back home and I 100% overdid it. I almost didn't get these because I did buy them last year. I got pumpkin spice stuff. Okay. Do you remember these from last year? Sure you are. Actually, I feel like maybe I have tried the Target version. So maybe these are different. Pumpkin spice cheesecake cookies. Are you kidding me? Maybe the hormones are raging. Maybe it was just me, but everything sounded so good. This is different. This is new. I have never tried these. Don't know if they're new this year. Apple cider. Kind just of because they make them doesn't mean you need to try them. You basic bitch. Oreo vibes. I did get these Bobo's oat bites, pumpkin spice. Papa Goob. Can you hear me? Am I being too mean? Okay. Papa Goob says I'm not being too mean because I really feel like I did not want to come into this video and be like this today. So, yes, he's in the other room and he listens. And he sometimes says things. Because you guys told me oats are good for um, for production. Um, Feeding the baby is good for production, you dumbass. Would somebody fucking tell her that in the comments? I cannot wait to look at these comments, but I doubt anybody will say anything. Excited to try these. I've been eating like overnight oats and stuff. So I'm gonna give those a try. And then also- th Why doesn't she make overnight oats with pumpkin, with actual pumpkin? Like a canned pumpkin's fine. You can get it from Whole Foods because it's healthier, because it's organic. Why don't you do that? Pumpkin's really good for you. This was interesting and different. Dark chocolate caramel apple cups. That's super different. And then, of course, I got cider. I How much fucking money do you think she spent in junk food from Whole Foods? Guys, all right, I'm going to try not to use the F word so much. It, I'm struggling. Sorry. Love apple cider. So I'm not going to try all this now, but I'll try it like throughout the vlogs. No, go ahead. Thri try it all today. Might as well. One thing I will try now are these because I'm always really fascinated by these because they have like other kinds. Oh, they're little individuals. These are so cute. These would be great for like a little school. What is it? Hold on. Pumpkin spice oat milk. I don't understand what that is. Well, lunch box snacks. Yeah, too bad you don't have a lunch box. Situation. Really, really simple ingredients. Yeah, I mean, let's see. Let's see if it's pumpkin spice enough for us. They look adorable. They look like just a little kind of oat protein ball. It smells really good. It smells like pumpkin spice. Also, my hair is still kind of wet. I took a shower this morning and I just threw it up. These are really good. And they are gluten-free, dairy-free, and plant-based and whole grain. Absolutely. It's 100% good for you because it's gluten-free, dairy queen, dairy queen. Dairy, dairy free, and yeah, I don't even know what she said. Plant based, absolutely, hundred percent. You could eat them all. You know, it's just it sucks that they're individually wrapped because that's gonna be that means it's gonna take longer to get through the whole package because you have to actually open each. No, oh, okay. And oats. Hmm, this would be good for so frustrating. The milk. These guys. are really good. Stand by. Maybe we'll try another thing later today. All right, we're about to take a family walk. I want to try. It's a family walk, guys. It's not just, uh, hey, uh, let's get out for a little bit as part of our regular routine at noon uh, every day. No, no, it has to be pre-planned and she has to drag yarn. Got it. To do this hairstyle. I've seen some people do a claw clip, but like through the back of their cap so okay. i think i, I think that's wear. the first step putting it i would never wear a cap oh, this is going to be the longest reaction it's four and a half minutes or almost five minutes 
I don't know. I feel like caps that cover my head. Number one, I have a huge head. But they ruin a washed hair. Like it makes it sweaty and then you got to wash it more. I don't know. Through. Goodness gracious. Putting it through my hair. Imagine if I just walked like this. I feel like this looks so strange. It's all about how you look on a walk. <laughs> Nobody's looking at you, Alex. If anything, they're looking at the baby. I don't know why. Okay, now just go through and do your little clip. Let's see. Okay. I don't know how, I can't really tell how it looks. It doesn't feel like extremely secure. But does it, does it matter? Like, I, I don't, okay. I mean, she's doing a video. Calm down, mama. She needs content. She needs content that doesn't focus on baby, which is good, but. But does it look good? Who cares? I mean, we're only gonna be gone for a little bit anyway. And my mom is coming over tonight after work. You tell me, does it look good? Who cares? We have tennis on, we've been watching. She is like, ah, geez, the fat on the back, like the, the, this part, I don't know what you call that, but holy shit the u.s open and my mom and yar love watching tennis did you guys hear that um who was it disney p yanked from es or from direct tv espn during the open uh yeah <laughs> I, I i haven't had direct tv in years i just never really got into it but this for some reason this time watching it has been like really entertaining <laughs> wait a second i thought they went last year or the years prior the u.s open i don't know okay back from our walk i threw my hair into braids because i um had wet hair this morning and i want to get just a little something going but you know what i realized from now the you last have, now you have hat smoshed hair does she, is she gonna say for i always cut her off when she's gonna say something i want to rage about vlog i'm gonna be so honest because like i said i love a cherry cola i thought she was gonna say something about formula that's why but no she's it's about fucking soda it tastes okay, yay. And see i really hope it can compare in some way because this would be delightful so cheers you guys this is the new flavor of poppy what is with poppy what what's the why is it different than diet coke uh is it the sweeteners like do they just put stevia in it you know i don't know give me an artificial sweetener and let's call it a day oh that's pretty good okay wait that's actually pretty darn good good yay i won't lie i did have very low expectations because it's like making a version of something like this like i've tried i want to say the olipop cola or something like the prebiotic colas are just never that good but this is pretty good it's pretty close it's pretty close to what okay. i'd give it like a solid 8.5 which is pretty good considering okay guys i'm so sorry let's take a look poppy p-o-p-p -P -P. hold on all right guys i can't help it you know me i gotta i gotta in the moment figure out what we're looking at it's time to love soda again Wow, $25,000 towards your education. Let's be friends. Learn. Why Poppy? Sure, why not? Why not? Soda's back. We're bringing the soda back. The twist, it's better for you this time. No more hiding cans in the bottom of your recycling bin or sipping sparkling water with your burger and fries. You deserve the mo that mouth-watering swirl of flavors and bubbles without feeling bad about it. Get all the soda feels with five grams of sugar and 25 calories or less. And prebiotics. Remember, the cravings aren't a crime, people. It's time to love soda again, like right now. <laughs> okay, so it's got all the cool things. Apple cider vinegar, no sugar, 
25 calories or less. Uh, is your package recyclable? No. Why would a soda brand like this that gives two fucking shits of how you look drinking soda, why would they make it recyclable? What fiber sources are in Poppy? Okay, here we go. Can I consume Poppy while pregnant or breastfeeding? First of all, congratulations to you and your family. Second of all, our co-founders, Allison, was pregnant when she founded the company. And now her children are her biggest fans follow her journey and instagram here knowing that everyone's a little different please reach out to your physician for advice on consuming poppy while pregnant guys i'm sorry i know i'm making fun of this maybe it's awesome it's it's probably awesome and i i recycle obviously but i just don't like virtue signaling in a company just Here's the product, why we're better. <sighs> but let's see, I got to find out how much this shit is. I know. Ooh, on Amazon. $30. $30. God bless America. How do you guys afford it? Okay, I was wrong. Those are regular size cans. It just looks funny here. But um, I just checked my Walmart. 1124, 424 pack of Pepsi, Diet Pepsi. I don't know. I, guys, I'm, I have jealous in my heart. I have jealousy. Jealousy. <laughs> I mean, God bless people who could just fucking put 30 bucks on soda in this economy. <laughs> I mean... Anyways, sorry guys for that interruption. It's not real diet soda. Love it. Um, I bought these on Amazon. So I'll put a link if you want to grab and try. No, um, my mom's coming over because she misses Anderson. Good. And we're going to have some family time. This is Cha-Cha's first time. <gasps> Cha-Cha. <laughs> I love Cha-Cha. Sniffing them. What do you think? What do you think of the baby? Oh, she knows to be calm. What do you think? Oh, great girl. Girl. I wonder if there was like a ton of fucking barking and shit. I'm sure there oh, was. You're very good girl. Oh, baby. Yeah. What do you think? Oh. Just sniffing them. That's what Bruno does. Hello and good morning. That is the ugliest shirt. I've I've seen her wear this though, or I, I think I remember when she hauled it. It is the next day. Um, I'm going to continue the vlog. I just got in a ton of Amazon packages from my, Literally. my monthly Amazon haul. And I got like a bunch of really, really cute fall clothes. So I'm excited to like unbox everything and see how it looks. You know, super hit or miss sometimes. But like the good Amazon finds are just chef's kiss. This I bought like... By the way, how do you think she gets this? Like somebody mentioned that for her fall um, decor haul on Amazon, it was Amazon. It was all sent to her by Amazon. Do you think Amazon sends her these clothes or do you think she's literally on the computer just picking stuff out? I don't know. At least a few weeks ago and it's finally chilly enough this morning to put it on but i've been Jealous. seeing these striped sweatshirts by the way i am going in the pool after i'm done with this so i might do my premiere from poolside Ooh, who knows <laughs> everywhere and i finally caved and got one and i absolutely see how it looks all right so you know, let's super see hit or miss She's sometimes but like to, the good um... amazon finds are just chef's kiss this I bought like at least a few weeks ago and it's finally chilly enough this morning to put it on but I've been seeing these striped sweatshirts everywhere and I finally caved and got one and I yeah I, I removed myself so we could see how this looks on her um it's like cropped but not absolutely love yeah oof you can't see she's wearing black, but it's like, you know what it is? It's not cropped. It's, it doesn't fall down, um, on her. I mean, it's, it's okay. I think it's butt ugly though. I mean, I'm, I'm not, you know, whatever. Alex is Alex, but, um, the whole color scheme 
is just mm, it's not so my cute. favorite. I love like the neon green yeah. around the edges. It has like different color options too, but, and it's actually like a baggy oversized fit. It, 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 no, it's not a baggy oversized fit because it doesn't fall where it's supposed to fall. It's not meant to be like a crop. You know what I mean? If it was baggy and it was genuinely baggy, it would fall and not get stuck at your waist. So this is the XXL, and I just looked because I was gonna put it on my stories too. It's on sale for $19.99. So I oh hope my when God. this vlog goes up, it's still on sale. It is so cozy, and the inside is actually like terry fabric, so it's not fleece, so it doesn't make me too hot. So I absolutely um love this. So I'll put a link to it if you want to grab it, but so freaking cute for fall. Yeah, that's a lot. And my 20 i don't know i have this little rule for amazon unless you need it for work it's like shirts ten dollars or less i want to say it's like a free people look -alike. oh my god no i think that was like a thing but i just think free people that's not um what is that called <sighs> boho it's the word boho that's not boho that's Ho ho? I, I don't know what that is. I'm not sure what this aesthetic is other than look at me, look at me. I think it is so fun with the colors like, and the stripes. But... It's like something Anna O'Brien would wear. Oh, look at I put mascara on. Who is she? But yeah, it's 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 a Maybe messy bun life right it. now. It's a messy bun life. So anyway, I Yeah, poop bun. Gonna do an Amazon haul at some point. Maybe I'll do it in this vlog. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, please tell me. <gasps> yes. Okay, these actually, like when you order something and it actually looks like it's gonna be big enough. These freaking cargo pants and they have a stretchy waist. Oh, cause like I wanna like revamp for mom fall. <laughs> so I just wanted to say good morning. I'm about to make a coffee and uh, pump a little bit. So. Sure you are. I'll check back in with you guys later and see what we get into today. Glad you guys are loving the Cozy Mom vlogs. Um, because I posted one yesterday and you guys were like really into like this chill new mom energy. So I really appreciate that because you know we're doing we're doing what we can. Many hours later. All right, you guys, that was a short-lived moment in the sweatshirt. Um, <laughs> it's now about noon. And we've just been chilling with the baby, and I unboxed all the Amazon stuff. Go ahead, try it on. <laughs> we've got a ton of clothes. So I'm so excited to see if any of these are good. They look really promising. So let's get this fall wardrobe popping. Ooh. Anderson's in the bassinet behind you guys. If you hear little coos and whatnot, that is what it is. You are so lucky. If you guys are new here, make sure you subscribe. I love doing Amazon finds on my Instagram as well and like stories and stuff, um, especially for plus size because it can be really like discouraging because there's always so many cute like Amazon no, fashion. No, 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 no. No, discouraging is when I was a kid. Yeah, and you only had Lane Bryant to shop at and that's it. Finds, but hardly ever they're plus size accommodating, but sometimes they are. So I always like to dig and find some for you guys. So sorry, this is not like my usual try on haul, like glam <laughs> aesthetic background. This is a real mom try on haul situation. We've got some sweaters. I got a couple pairs of pants. So why and... didn't she Why didn't she do this in her bedroom? This is weird. Oh, I got a pair of jeans. I'm really curious about these jeans. So these were actually barrel jeans right here. Um, those, and I know there's audience members who like this style. That doesn't look good on anybody. Uh, is that supposed to be flattering? Am I missing something? Uh, okay. I've got like big thighs, so I'm kind of curious if they're going to fit like a barrel jean. But I got the XXL and they are very stretchy. They're like just a full on jegging, but they're super cute. So, I mean, those are uglier than sin. I hope they look really promising. Okay, the jeans actually fit perfectly, but I don't think they're giving. I No, they don't fit perfectly. Hold on, let me see. They're tight around the thighs, which is fine because I think the model who was wearing them looked terrible. It made her look 
way bigger or whomever the model was. I couldn't, I don't think there was a face. Like the barrel look no. that they're supposed to. They're tight. Like they flare out like right here. But like I said, I feel like my big thighs always like yeah, me mess too. up a wide like jean and sorts. They're extremely comfortable. Okay. If your thighs are not as big, I would try them. Like they. Yeah, they actually look better on her than the model. I don't know. It just looks so dumpy. Literally just like feel like a sweat pant. Oh, it's well, not sweat pant, but like a legging. Like they're so comfortable. So too bad. Almost. They were almost a hit, but sadly. You're not going to keep them? A little funky. Okay, this sweater is actually super That's duper cute. cute. I love like the little balloon That's sleeve. Cute. Very soft. Kind of reminds me of Charlie Brown. Very nice quality. A little kind of mock neck situation. Oh, and I just realized the pockets of these are like kind of coming out. I don't know, but I love this sweater. It is super cute for the fall. I like the like drop sleeve too and how like the stripes are down here. Uh, everything will be linked and I'll put the size that I got in each item down below. I think everything's an XL or XXL. So yeah, cute, love it. Definitely gonna keep this. Okay, this is more of like a loungy situation. This is reminding me so much of the Skims waffle knit, like the I like thermal that. waffle knit. That I don't know I'm if it's gonna, supposed to be off the shoulder or not. I'm gonna order. I guess you could wear it in the middle too. I like off the Kinda shoulder. Kind of do what you want with it. But I love how like just cozy, comfy this is. Yeah, I like with that. Just like some leggings or something. They mm -hmm. had a bunch of colors in all of these items. So, But she had to get gray. Just click on them. You can see what they have. This is just like so cozy without being hot. Love and hate fall clothes because sometimes they're too hot. Like I want to be cozy, but not overheated. Yeah, well, Florida hot is, or fall is summer. Summer. It's just summer. Maybe... October? No. We always sweat our ass off in on Halloween. Always, always, always. Like, because, um, like, especially for the kids, the Halloween costumes are, like, meant for up north. And we're always sweating our ass off. So, like, the inside of this is the same fabric as the outside. It's not, like, fleece lined or anything. Just this oversized fit with a little like that. slit on the side. And as you can see, like I said, it's this nice waffle knit comfy fabric love this great for getting cozy okay hold the phone this hold hold the phone that is ugly as fuck <laughs> so cute yes okay so i've got this long sleeve shirt on here okay. well okay number one the shirt's too tight on the arms i think but that vest no 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 the 90s called and they want their couch back and there are so many good skim similar items. On Would you stop it with the skims? The Kardashians are so 2010. On know. Amazon. This is so skims. I want to. Meaning it's skin tight? Skim. Skim tight. I have some from the same brand in the short sleeve that I've raved about. And then, my dear Alex, you're already like what? Like her body type, right? You can't change your actual body type. You're just massive, right? Not, I mean, even if you lost weight, you'd still be broad. Broad shoulders, vests, and you're, you have large breasts. No, say no to the vest. Oh, there are um, but it's just like, it's a little vest. compression too. Like you just feel. Not only that, she can't close that. Very, it's almost like feels shapewear-ish. Also, I have on like a black nursing bra, so just bear with me here. But I love this vest paired with it. That this is vest is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. And I've, I've seen some stuff, especially becoming a reaction channel. So cute. The paisley. Like, I just feel like this is so in right now. And the combo oh, it is this. paisley. You can wear it with leggings, jeans, whatever. How? Oh. Yeah. I love these two together. And no. then the cargo pants. These cargo pants, I don't think I'd wear this together, but I wanted to try on different pants. These are so stretchy and comfortable. And, and listen, and again, I got the thunder thighs too. So. Fit so nicely. No, they're they like don't. Really they're cute. too tight. Will that help a little bit? They're like there a really go. cute olive a green color. Of course. Oh, they're so comfortable. Oh, I love. Love them both separately, but like mm, this top combo. All right, I wanted to try on another vest option with the... No! 
Oh my fucking God. What is wrong with you? White long sleeve. So cute. I think this is supposed to be more oversized, but it fits like this. I wear my vest open anyway, but I love this vest. It's just like a classic puffer. I got it in this chocolate brown. I think they had all those colors. It looks like, I don't know, guys. I'm just not a, I don't see the purpose of a vest. All right. I mean, I'm in Florida, so I probably don't understand why you'd wear that in general. Because I think like it's cold enough. I want my arms covered. I don't know, but I'm I'm a Florida girl, so I don't know much about the cold. I just think it's super cute. I would wear this probably with just some leggings. It's like just really easy, great for like that transitional time of year where you don't need like a full on winter I don't coat. Like I can't this even believe part. I'm saying the words winter coat. Let's just try to soak up the fall. Let's stay focused on fall. Fall to Vlogmas. After that, doesn't exist right now. But yeah, this is really cute. Technically, it could zip. I just prefer... It'd be skin tight. Having it open. Okay, so a okay. fall moment for this. That's cute. So I would wear this long line. Um... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. But it, it looks better on her than the last couple pieces. Button up fleece with leggings. This is also that perfect transitional time piece where you don't wanna wear a full coat, but it's a little chilly. You're going to the pumpkin patch, the apple orchard. I Jealous. Grabbed like the most quintessential fall colors that they had. Um, and I just love the plaid. I love the orange, this like brownish, like those oversized, button up fleeces, but not like a long line version like this that gives more coat. I'm sorry these aren't styled and I'm just trying them on. But like it's I think enough. with leggings and some Uggs, oh, this would be so cute. Leggings and sneakers and a baseball hat. Like you could do so many cute outfits with this. Um, I definitely want to get like a pick at the Apple Orchard with this. And then I have a new pair of pants on. These are another like just staple to have in your closet. So they're just these like stretchy ribbed, wide leg trousers they're pleated up here they are just so comfortable and stretchy you well, can luckily pair them we can't with see. so many different kinds of tops you can dress them up you can dress them down wear them to the office wear them with sneakers and a t-shirt and a baseball hat you can do so much and they're extremely comfortable wear them to the office <laughs> like you've ever worked in an office which is what i want now postpartum so i'm going to be wearing these so much um, and they fit just absolutely <laughs> perfectly. Okay, and then I feel like it's always good to find a nice bomber jacket for the fall. This one is super duper cute. I love the That's color, ugly. just like this perfect tan. I like little details like it having buttons on the pockets, like if you don't want stuff to fall. It sounds like members only. Like, oh, I'm looking for the insignia. Sorry, I could see it better on the other screen, so. Out, it's got the zipper on this sleeve. This is another one that I think was supposed to be oversized, but fits you know, pretty normal. It is super cute though. But what I like about it, it's like the little details that always do something for me. This elastic puff. Oh, I don't like that. Sleeve. And wait a second, maybe she'll show us again. Hold on, I gotta move this. It's hard to see. All right, is it me or are the sleeves too short? A lot of the time bomber jackets will have like this thick this cuff. I like the difference on this one, having that little balloon puff. I think it makes it like a little bit more unique. So you can do yeah, so much with these. They're just a perfect okay, middle whatever. ground staple when you don't want a whole winter coat, but a little something. And like, I like wearing these kind of things open and I think it's cute how the inside is quilted. Cause then sometimes people can see. It, Cause you can't close it. Well, you can close it, but it's like skin tight. The inside of things. And then it's cute little surprise. Okay, my black bra is actually doing me a favor with this top because I didn't know that this part was going to be see-through, but I actually think it looks really cute with the black. It looks like there's like a black tank top underneath. This top is adorable. This would look so great with some high-waisted jeans. This just flowy, comfortable, easy breezy top. Nice and comfy. Doesn't fit. Do you see that? Here, hold on a second. The jeans. This just flowy, comfortable, easy breezy. You see how it, it doesn't fit. Top, nice and she, comfy, her boobs are too big. flowy. The way I her body like is. baby doll flow out with like this little mini bell sleeve. Yeah. Yeah, that's also a little bit tighter on your arm than it should be. I'm like pleasantly surprised by this. I kind of threw it in just... It needs to be lower. The top needs to go under your boobs, not straight in the middle. It's cutting your boobs right in the middle. 
last minute just kind of seeing if it would like look cute and I love it. Just super comfy and that right to that perfect spot where most high-waisted jeans come up. I haven't tried on any of my jeans yet um, since giving birth. So we'll have to do that at some point and see. How Give yourself a little bit longer. I wouldn't do that. Any woman who's out there, don't go two weeks after you've delivered and check and put your jeans on unless you're one of those skinny people. Then God bless you. Go for it. How that's going, but I love this top. All right, super cute okay, sweater like alert. That. I love this sweater. I love this color. I can never decide on like colors when I add things to my car. How come everything gets stuck on her hips? But yes, I like that. That's cute. Mm -hmm. But I love this. It's so it's just this really cute, slightly oversized, but not like super oversized, a baggy or fit. But if people fall. get very pressed when I, <laughs> when I call something oversized and they're like, that just fits you. I'm like, yes. listen. <laughs> It's not that serious. But what no, I like about this true. is it's just, it's very cozy. It's got like this oversized long sleeve situation. Um, I, I remember that from like the picture of it, but I really like that. I think it's very cozy. I just did a little like French tuck into these trousers. I actually even think this looks kind of cute with like some white sneakers. And it has this really cute like rolled mm -hmm. um, I like hem the at the color. neck. I don't know if that's the right way to phrase that, but I do think this is adorable. I love it. Love this. This was another sweater that had a ton of options for colors. I ended up going with the coffee brown stripes. I like how it has a brown outline up here around the neck. I don't like and it. And then like the thick white stripe and then the pin stripes. I think it is so like unique the way all the different stripes flow together. It is comfy. The sleeves are the perfect length. It's sweater weather, sweater season. This is the vibe. I'm glad I got like a v-neck one because I don't always want to wear something that's like up high. I like yeah. having- oh. Well, v-necks look better on her. So if it's like a little warmer, I will wear the one with the open neck. So yeah, love this one too. Very pleased with like the thick comfort of the fabric. Everything so far has felt really nice. So this sweater fits a little tighter than I would have liked, but I still wanted to show it. And you can see straight through it. Is that really a sweater? In case you don't mind the fit of it. But we've got like all these cute little like colors and then no, the slits on the side. Fan. The really beautiful bell sleeve. I love okay. the colors. It's giving like... Well, okay. I, you know what? That could be a Florida sweater. I don't like those colors though. Sunset vibes. The slight boat neck. Overall, it is really cute. It just, I don't feel like it fits me right. It does okay, I also had seen like this oversized shirt like option for a while and I was contemplating trying it. I don't like in beige this color on me. I'm going to exchange it, but I really do like the fit a great layering piece with like a denim jacket and leggings. Like it's just, it's a truly oversized baggy fit here. Let it fall um, around and your hips. Like I said, they had a bunch of colors. I just don't think this like suits my skin tone, but um, it's a really nice quality shirt. This feels like another one that Skims would sell, like a boyfriend t-shirt for like $50. Not to say I don't love me some Skims. I do. But we great know. little kind of look-alike sitch. Very soft, very stretchy, and oversized. Well, it looks soft. So that looks, yeah. So just a good staple. I wish I grabbed a different color, but that's what returns well, are for. you go for the beige all the time and i wonder if any of these have the try before you buy option that would be even better because i hate like constantly having to put a return in look at this look oh yeah there you go your old square necks are back at this we saved the best for almost last this dress is so if please is that a dress? like just please if you have like a fall event, a wedding, a shower, a birthday party. I wouldn't wear that to a wedding. Party, a dinner, anything. This dress. Like, are you? Oh, that's cute. Kidding. This is the prettiest dress I've ever seen. I don't know what. It no, is. you know what? That's cute. I, th I think that looks cute on her. Yep. It's just it's oozing fall <sighs> energy. It comes right above my ankle. I'm five seven and a half for reference and it is just a perfect dress are you kidding it's from cider it's cute and on amazon love that came quick and it is just absolutely beautiful so it's milkmaid style it has this gorgeous square neckline a little poof sleeve the colors are just like beautiful it screams fall <laughs> and it has like smocking in the back so it's super duper comfortable oh let me guess you didn't have to wear a bra comfortable <laughs> oh I live, laugh, love this dress so much. And it's got like the slit and I just absolutely adore this. Okay, no, not gonna lie. That looks cute on her. It really does.
All right, I have one last item and it looks promising. This really cute smocked long sleeve jumpsuit. So let's see if it fits. Oh, a jumpsuit. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, no, we saved the best for last, truly. Oh, let's see, guys. It's going to be hard to see, but let's see if it's grabbing her and the crotch. This jumpsuit is absolute perfection. It fits so well. It's wide leg. It's just like okay. flowy and comfortable. This is the perfect it's thing to, to wear, like going out to dinner so you can eat comfortably because <laughs> it is all smocked around the top. And then yes, it's all about, yeah, it's like the, the uh, we used to go to the Golden Corral. We put my Golden Corral pants on. And it like pleats and the Golden Corral's like gone and thank God. Blows out. It's got, yes, it blows out and it's got pockets, but we can't see if it's grabbing her in the crotch because it's black. Good. Pockets and it has like a square neck. We they know. just make so many sounds when they're sleeping. It's absolutely adorable. I know you're lucky. Mine would be screaming. And then we've got like a little elastic at the end here, a balloon sleeve. And it's just a perfect, perfect, easy thing to throw on. If you want to like look put together, but still feel very comfortable. Looks like you tried really hard and it's just this easy, simple jumpsuit. I love this. This is amazing. I'm so glad it fits. These are so hit or miss, but cute. Oh, and then I also had in my pile, I had gotten this mama sweatshirt. We I know. wore it in the last vlog. Mm -hmm. It's a true oversized, not like super oversized, relaxed fit. Um, Relax. It mama on it. So I've been wearing this too when it's been cooler, but I love this color. This is the 3X. So I'll link that as well, but that's my haul. Pretty good. It's a pretty high success rate here, but I'm gonna go through it and see what I wanna keep, but I think I'll actually wear this fall, but I love, love finding. No, the dress and that um, are good for her. You know, that one d apparently doesn't bite her in the crotch. Um, so the vests return, that stupid white shirt that looks like skins, return that. Um, and plus that's just gonna get a mess. like. You know, the black dress, I mean, it's funny because um, you really want to hide stains, get like the floral. Black and white just scream stains, especially when baby decides to throw up on you. Um, also, baby spit up, it's fine. It smells too. Just FYI, you're going to want to change. In my diaper bag, I used to put a change of clothes for me too, because there's nothing like having to sit in baby spit up that smells like rotten milk for hours. Good plus size friendly Amazon finds for you guys. So let me know what was your favorite. Are you gonna grab any of them? Again, I will link them down below. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. Anderson and I are here chilling and he's just farting up a storm. He is farting and he is very much awake right now. He's in a wake window. And he's just- some, If you're breastfeeding, it's something you're eating very active and chatty so yeah but anyway i want to say good morning and oh and i also so i completely lucky. forgot i wanted to talk about this in the vlog i saw some people asking if we would share the name we almost used oh, yeah because you guys saw <laughs> i had ordered that necklace with um, me and yarman's initials and then the name we were going to do for him like i literally had like a little name flag banner for his room i have to order the new one um and you guys saw it had started with a d it was the name we kept going back to for like a really long time like nothing felt right but this name was like the closest to right that we felt so we kind of like settled on it but then it never felt like perfect i know you're just vibing. Belly full of milk and a fresh diapy. So the name that we were going to use was Diego. I still think. Diego, like is in Dora the Explorer, Diego's cousin. Diego. Okay. Yes. It's a super cute name. I think it's adorable <sighs> for a baby, but then a really yeah. cute name and a strong name when he's older. Yeah, um, sure. Diego is sort of a last name too. I don't know. But I don't know. It just, it never fully. Yeah, Diego's a last name Fully too. set in. I still think it's a great name. But um, oh. as we got closer, I had said in the last several oh. vlogs ago, when we went to our parenting class on our lunch break, we both, well, Yarman said it first and I was like, oh my God, I agree. 
it doesn't feel right anymore. Yeah, then we were back to the drawing board. And then, you know, we came up with Anderson. I also saw some people asking how we came up with Anderson. We were talking about how we liked a lot of like last names as first yes, names. We know. Maybe that's how it came up. I feel Just like that's Anderson. probably how it came up. And we also really liked the name Anders. Yeah. And then we were like, if we call him Anderson, we can call him Anders um, for a nickname. So we really like yeah. that. Yeah. But <laughs> I love that sound. <laughs> That's the name we almost use. So his eyes are getting more and more open every day. Yeah. And it's just so fun to like see him look into our eyes. It feels like so magical. Yeah. Like, well, he has nothing to look at yet because you didn't get anything high contrast. So that's fine. Just looking at the baby's eyes. <laughs> Um, but he's doing great. He's really doing great. And still de developmentally, he's going to be five weeks behind. And it's okay. He'll catch up eventually, but just don't put a lot of pressure on this kid. We are just so in love with him. And yeah, I'm going to end this vlog here. But you know I'll be back again soon. And I love you so much. I'll see you again in a few days. All right. I'm sure she will. You look like you're thriving, already finding that balance between mommy and still being Alex. I feel so sorry for any of you new moms who are struggling. I just, just know that there's probably more new moms struggling than new moms pretending to have this. I'm just saying. And a lot of them... Some of them are truly killing it. Baby's easy. Their their husband is right on it or their partner is right on it 50-50. For the most of us, it's either we're faking it or we're just genuinely struggling. So you are just the healthiest woman I know on YouTube. So inspiring. The fuck is wrong with you? I just ordered two of those striped long sleeve free people dupe shirts. I don't, did I miss something? Did I miss the memo that free people's not boho anymore? I don't know. Thank you. I don't think people realize the amount of work that goes into your shopping, trying on and linking items. I certainly appreciate it and understand it's part of your job, which it is. I don't understand the haters. They must be jealous or something because it makes zero sense. Keep being you. <sighs> okay. Criticisms hate. Yep, that's, that's what happens in 2024. All right, all of these are really glowing comments, which, um, no, it's, it's fine. It, it literally is good. I'm glad for her, but I'm curious. The Tio's. What's she getting? 29. I'd listen, I'd kill for 29,000 views, 45,000 views, 71,000 views. Yeah. So she gets 30. I mean, that's still pretty, that's still not bad. Um, okay. I mean, good. All right, guys. Well, that was it. I'm sorry for being a little harsh in the beginning, but I do not like when I perceive something's not true. Okay. You're on YouTube. You have a lot of, you have a lot of responsibility because there's so many little people watching you and, and they're watching you and they're saying, oh my God, you're awesome. This is unbelievable. It's not like this for everybody. I wish it was. I mean, you know, but just to make I don't know. It's fine. I just hope someday she's honest. I doubt it. She's not been honest before, so I don't even know why I'm saying that. Ah. Anyways, guys, uh, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope to catch you on the next one. Bye.